you doing? Doing all right. What do you have here? What I have is a belt buckle pistol. This is actually pretty cool. This was the concealed gun of all concealed guns, I right. guess. Right. It looks like this is the trigger right here. Right. A lot of the times what would happen is you would have a string tied to here and would run up through your arm and be tied to a ring or something on your sleeve. And then if you move your hand up, it would fire the gun. Mm -hmm. So kind of a sneaky little gun. I imagine there's no markings on it. Am I wrong? Is there markings? I have not seen any type of marking on it. Yeah, and that's because the guy making this wouldn't really want to advertise that he's the sneaky guy making these kind oh. of guns. It's definitely been used and looks like it's got some rusting on it, but you would kind of expect that. Does it work? I have never fired it. I've never tried to fire it. The story has been lost. We don't really know where it came from, but it's been in the family for generations. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how collectible this gun would be because it is hard to figure out who made it, but I do know there is a market for this kind of stuff. So what would you like to do with it? I want to sell it. And how much are you looking for? I'd like to have $500. That seems pretty reasonable, actually. Um, I do need to know a little bit more about it before I go ahead and make you an offer. Give me just a moment. I'm going to go grab my guy, Alex, and see if he can tell us a little bit more about this. Don't go anywhere, all right? Sure. Thanks. So I set up three big balloons so I wouldn't miss, even though I'm going to be very close. Well, I think even with this wind, you should be a good shot today. <laughs> I hope so. So I brought some supplies. I have black powder. I have 36 round lead balls, which that'll be the projectile. And I have some grease, and the grease is actually going to help me keep the powder and the ball in. I'm ready to see this thing working. OK. So you getting excited yet? I, I am excited. <laughs> All right, so let's see how I aim this. All right, so now to full cock. You ready? Go. Ah. <laughs> well, we got two. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it works. I don't know how much damage it would do to somebody, but it definitely would stop them at least for a little bit. So what do you think it's worth? Well, I, there's not a whole lot out there to compare it to, but because it's antique, because it's from about 1890, I think there is a collector's value to it. I could see it selling between three and 4,000. Okay, thanks for coming out and testing it. All right, you're welcome. I'll uh, see you back at the event. Thank you very much. Thanks. I'll bring your stuff back, don't worry, Alex. Okay, thanks. All right, I'll give you 500 for it. Well, you know, Alex uh, had a little better opinion of it than that. How about we go 2,500? How about 1,500? We'll split the difference at 2,000. Maybe like 17 is probably the max I could do. I mean, it's really cool, but it is a very niche collector's market. All right, you got a deal. All right, well, I'm happy to have it, and um, we'll get you some cash. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, thank you. I'll You're get this welcome. stuff. I got to get back to the event. Okay. <laughs>